Would you know how to get rid of your fear, phobia, stress or anxiety? How to burst your fear and transform your life? Welcome to Fear Buster Show, presented by Lauren Rosenberg, fear and phobia relief expert and author of How to Move Forward When the Unthinkable Happens. You are listening to UK Health Radio, the world's number one talk health radio with Lauren Rosenberg www.fear-busters.com Hi everyone, um, welcome back to Fear Buster. Today we're going to talk about um, fear of um, losing your freedom, uh, being maybe robbed. And uh, so we have a special guest today and it is Sada Vidu. Sada, hi, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. And Sada, do you want to explain a little bit first what you do and who you are and uh, maybe how we met? That's up to you. But uh, yes, and then we'll talk about <laughs> the fear of um, what's going on in the world and uh, our freedom. Mm. Well, um, my name is Sada Vidu and I'm a living doll and um, and a mom now. Yes, um, yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little boy <laughs> a doll mom to a very little cute prince but um other than that i'm a singer and a songwriter and you probably know me from the x factor but also you probably know me from eurovision and the danish movie company which i also were in and all that happened like uh, i think three years ago three and a half years ago and since then it's been like a really wild right and then out in the blue there comes you in the middle of everything um, <laughs> the wife of uh, the lawyers and just uh, yeah just a light in the dark bless you for that. Oh, thank you thank you now we were meant to meet and we met at uh, you know different circumstances and but uh, we did a special event a music event and we had the pleasure to hear your voice and uh Amazing. And feel free to sing any if you want for our listeners, whatever you feel like doing, because um, <laughs> your voice is amazing. And but so uh, yeah, if anybody um, remember X Factor, um, you were you were you were singing in X Factor and uh, beautiful voice that you have. Uh, so we met, and and here we are a few years later, and we're now going to talk about freedom. Because um, this world at the moment has uh, we're in a pandemic and a lot of our way of living is different. So, so Sada, you wanted to talk about fear of, of being or fear of freedom. We said being robbed. Or yes, what's about? We live in a world where we we had so much material stuff going on around us. Like we have nice mm -hmm. cars, we have nice this. We we continue. You want to grow our status, our you know, a civil civil status around our friends, around the world, and be traded by that. Like we feel good in that. Like I made that. I I worked for that, but. When COVID-19 came along, it robbed us all of that. And, and it became that you needed to show who you were, your spirit, your human. And you might meet the one in the street that used to smile at you and suddenly they're not smiling or suddenly they're grumpy that you don't put out the trash right. And, you know, people lost a little bit of, of life spirit. And I do understand that. And I can especially see it on my YouTube because I haven't been on YouTube um, and been active for like two years, which is a very special reason for that. I will come back to that. It doesn't matter if you have a big wedding or a small wedding. It doesn't matter no. if you can't go on holiday. It's putting everyone to the same place in, in certain ways. It's yeah, yeah. Uh, without health, no one is, we, we, we're not, we, we know, we're nothing. We just, we need the health. That's the main thing. So, uh, and each other also, I think it's so like you, you get to know who you miss and you, you get to know who you're with and who you, you know, and you, you, you get to be with the ones you love in a, in a different way. I know it sounds crazy when it's all about like you're forced to it, but it, well, forces, it forces you to stop just for a minute just for a minute it's it's um make you 
more grateful of what you have because before that we just took it for granted you know um, people used to complain to take their kids to school and being stuck in the traffic or or having to be busy and now I think everybody would you know this is like a privilege like driving to school taking your child you can't even take your child to school because it's online schooling so and the things that people used to complain about it's now became a privilege and now they when they will be able to do it, they'll be even more grateful that they can do it. And hopefully, I, I hope that people will still remember once it gets back to sort of normal, that still being grateful, being able to just go in the car, take your child to school. Who would have thought a year ago, more than a year ago, that school was a privilege? It is a privilege. And luckily, we have the internet. And luckily, we can have online schooling. Mm-hmm. Not all the schools, yeah. but majority of the schools can do it. Um, but it's exactly what you said, Zada, is realizing what's really important that that is it's being grateful that um you can get up in the morning you can your body is working well that you can actually those are the important things it doesn't matter what car you drive yes of course um a, a car that is new is maybe a bit more comfortable but it, it will take you still from a to b that is not important the world is showing you at the moment that it, we're on the survival level out. And who you come home to is important. Yeah. Does it who you come and, home to? And there's so many people out there who's lonely. Um, yeah. Even giving so a call, you know, just giving a call, supporting someone, all those ways of of, um, of natural way that we just took it for granted. And now it's just like we can't wait to be able to to, to see someone and meet someone. And uh, so, yeah, you're right. All this yeah. has changed. So you were saying that um, you've not been on YouTube for quite a, a while. No, I've been kind of robbed from my identity. That sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? Me, because I'm a living doll for freedom. It stands for just being free and being who you want. But once somebody, I got involved in the management group and there was some shareholders and the one guy that had me, he died, unfortunately. He died three years ago or three Months after we did uh, Eurovision, Danish Delivery Company, he died on a tour with a big artist called King Diamond, who he had for 30 years. And I remember you and me talking in that period. Yeah, I was home and feeling really low. And um, getting through this um, thing, I still had some obligation to these shareholders and they still wanted to take responsibility for my career and you know be the team but they did so many crazy decisions and I wasn't honestly I wasn't capable of making any decisions myself like because I was so beat up by that he was gone he's been by my side for years he was 70 years old but he was my best friend in life like he 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 was my everything you know so I didn't, I tried to say, no, that's not right, or no, we shouldn't do that, but they never listened. And so they kind of had this, you know, kind of manipulating their way into deciding everything. And so making me numb, to be honest. And um, and that's not where you I, are, because your voice and your singing yeah. comes from your heart, so... And I remember my manager always say, be careful, you don't end up like this, the the singing beautiful bird you know in the golden cage this is this is what his words were so I kind of said okay um as they kind of say oh there's no money for that oh there's no money for that oh you cannot do that oh you can't go to China oh you can't do this I can't I couldn't do anything I was like okay you just want me to stand in this cage and just stand here I mean like are we not going to give the fans anymore I mean there's 1.8 million fans out there what are you going to do about it and they were just like you know they're adult believers they need something new and they were like no 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 wait 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 and in all this kind of back and forth and I'm not saying they did that by bad heart because I don't believe they did I do believe they think they knew what they were doing but they didn't and um and i kept saying you know he's he, he's gone friends he's not here anymore you, you need to realize he's not here anymore and when he's not here you you know the brain and the heart and the, the music manager who knew everything he's not here you need to let it go guys and and they didn't want to so um 
there were some conditions in my contract and when I told them that they have you know make a contract breach um I actually um uh went into the first court because then they took me to court and they didn't want to let me go um and so the first court they they gave me what you call like um if I go perform with my name they will come with the police and stop me uh-huh. <laughs> So this is what was going on. And I was like, it was really so too much for me. I was like, okay, I can't go perform, but, but it's my name. They're like, yeah, but you yeah, changed you. it. Yeah. But, but that it's my you. name. I they're like, yeah, but you change it into what you are. I'm like, no, that's me. And it was like, I was taking this whole battle about this is me. You, 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 you need to let me go. I'm not a doll you can put on a shelf, you know. Um, so... You, and the whole process, I won the first court, which is very happy. And I thought, okay, I'll go on with life. I signed a new record deal with the um, uh, opposite uh, records in uh, in London. And we started working together. And um, the first time we tried to come out with something, then they come with big lawyers Aww. from a big company and tried to stop us. And then it was like, okay, what's going on? And then they they appealed the case to the highest court of Denmark. So this is what I've been waiting for to go to that court and get my name back and my life back, really. Uh, so you can't sing at the moment or? Well, if I do, they'll just come and make trouble. I got a big contract also. I can't say where, but in another very big, large country. And they didn't want to go forward with it unless I had this solved. And even though I had on paper it was solved because they, um, how do you say, because they they um, appealed it, it's, you can't move. You can't. Until so that means no. you, you feel like you've been also not well just because of COVID, but also your identity, because that's... Yeah, COVID-19 is nothing for me. That's not what's keeping me in COVID-19. It's just, you know, another thing we have to deal with in life. But yeah. um, but being robbed of my name and not be able to be me, that has made uh, quite a bad impact on me, to be honest. Oh, we're going to have to so, look yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. More than so I can see you now... Now the court is on Monday. Oh, so yeah, we, it's close. We should, it's on we, should like, we, we will do something. We'll work <laughs> together. But um, does that mean we can't hear any? You you can't even just sing a little bit. You can't at the moment. No, at the moment I can't. I know. Oh, so really? This I is, would like <laughs> to have any any listeners. They can. Yeah, I, I, I can. I can. I can. I can do line. We can break the rules. We do. A bit. They can listen. To it. <laughs> They, they can, they can uh, but, too hardy, with no promises, no demands, and love is a battlefield. You're losing control. Will you turn me away? Oh. And there it goes on and on. I know. <laughs> but if they want to listen to you, they can look on YouTube. You can always go on my X YouTube. Factor, um, yeah. And uh, so that you do. And they'll have all your audi- auditions and uh, and the shows. And uh, and that is the um, that's something that was unexpected. It's your identity. That's you. That's that is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, and and you know. It's like, you know, they have a push they want to show around without, um, uh, and uh, what do you call it, um, without uh, the motto in it. I mean, like, it, it, it's not, it doesn't work that way. It is so that, uh, where, where do you feel that? Where do you feel that in your body? Because uh, maybe I can send you, I can help you just feeling a little bit lighter. What, yeah. Where do you send this? Where do you feel this in your body? This, this feeling robbed by, you know, your identity, your name? Not feeling free to to sing. I think on, on my shoulders will be more definitely. Like they're very okay. very heavy. Like, okay. Well, what color do we need to release that? Come on, do that. <laughs> do you, man? <laughs> what color do you think? Um, at the moment, I think green. Green. Okay. So, can you just take a deep breath, close your eyes, see that nice green going, like a little river flooding in, going in. 
lifting, going into your shoulder, lifting, making it lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. So light and so soft, it'll just flow and it'll just go wherever it needs to go. Just allow that green to go in, lifting all the heaviness. Just allow that green to go in. Allow those little cells in your body to take that green, to relax those cells, make them lighter and lighter and lighter. So soft and so light, it'll just flow and it'll just go wherever it needs to go. And then just whenever you're ready, you can take a deep breath and then open your eyes. Yeah. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different. I have a magnet and I want to, you to imagine that I'm going to put the magnet above your head. This is the, the meridian. So just I'm stroking the magnet above your head, behind your head and all the way down your spine and I'm just stroking that magnet just all the way around all the way down your spine just to put more alignment with your neck just to strengthen your spine and to give you more of a sense of belonging more grounded more steady and more secure and more protected you may find a little bit of tingles in your body i know it's a bit strange because we're not in the same room but i'm just sending you that magnet energy just to support you and also to put some mist some realignment in your neck and in your body just so you can feel more steady on your feet so that you can start becoming you again so i'm just sending you that and then take your time and then just when you want to take a deep breath and just relax That was amazing. Learn. How are you feeling? I definitely feel it in my spine. Yeah, you haven't seen me since for a while and uh, I use a lot of different <laughs> techniques. I, I use magnets, um, energetic it's magnets. Okay, yeah. Because we're not in the same room, we're in a different countries. Uh, but oh, um, it doesn't matter, we're on the internet. That's I know, we're on in the internet. Everything is energy. And... Um, I love using the magnetic field. So when you enter the magnetic field and you actually send a magnet into the person, you can realign what's not being aligned in your body. And very often there's a misalignment in the neck uh, that creates tension and then we, we, we can't think clearly, we're in a little bit of a fog. And because what's happening in your life, you need to be very steady on your feet, be grounded and actually have a clear idea of what's going on. And then you'll be able to attract better things in life too. So um, how are your shoulders feeling like? And how are you feeling compared to when we started? I feel, I definitely feel it in my spine. I definitely feel the left there. That was amazing. I felt the, 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 the chill behind and everything. Good. Yeah. yeah. You went so about you, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's energy work. So, you know, I... I um, I actually worked uh, on somebody who has a stammer and uh, again, uh, online internet and I send a magnet. I, I did a bit of, you know, work on the person and everybody was so surprised because it was a group session and the person started talking so nicely and, uh, and he could express herself because there was no stammer. It was like, it was so different. And that was people could see what energy work does and, you know, it, it's, it can help so much and uh, it can change so many things. So, but um, what's that feel like now? Feel, can you see things a little bit different? I don't know yet. That has to come time. Out. It will take. It'll take time, obviously. But um, I so, remember I have uh, some. I'm focused. And just to get through this, and hopefully I come back to all the doll believers with my life again. Yeah, you need and, to. Okay, let me just let me just do one more thing. Just um, just come okay, on. take a deep breath. First of all, take a deep breath and then blow it out. So like you blow out all the heaviness that you've been carrying. And just blow them out. You don't need. To, they don't. They're not serving. They're not helping you. So take a deep breath in and out and just blow everything out and once you've blew everything out then what you can do is just pick a color and see the color that you like going into your mind allowing to make some almost like um we're tidying up we're making like a little makeover in your mind we're clearing the things that 
are not serving you, not helping you. And we're putting space so that in the near future, you can really attract what you want and really be yourself. So see the color. Maybe it could be even just white or transparent, but just see that nice color going in, going into the little cells of your mind, giving you that nice support, a nice protection, and give you clarity so that you can focus on every part of your life. If it's being a mom, being a wife, being you know, a singer, you have all those parts in your mind allowing you to be you. So you can have clearance, a clear guidance of what you want to, to be and what you can attract in your life. And notice how much, how light it feels to have that clarity in your mind, to have space in your mind. We're making space so that the universe is open for you to receive good things, good results everything that you want to attract which is allowing the universe to send it to you and then whenever you're ready you take a deep breath and you can open your eyes that was great feeling more clarity yeah it went from dark to white when I close my eyes and uh, even your eyesight now does that feel a little bit more clear yeah they do actually they actually do that was crazy yes. <laughs> what happened <laughs> with that you should, you should know about you should know me about no 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 <laughs> um when yeah, we go and grow into... your powers girl Oh my god. Yes, I, I have in certain clear. ways. I do see more clear. That is true. So the what yes, happened is when clear. we when a lot of things happen to us, we don't want to see them and the mind is sending a message to the brain saying that I don't want to see all this and therefore by sending that, our eyesight sort of changed and we don't even realize it. So what I did was I was making some space in your mind, a little bit of a tidying up and a little bit like walking into a room that is uh, messy and I was just like putting some clarity and, and, and tidying up and putting and allowing this. That allows you to have more clarity and to see the world in a better place. So eyesight will also be clearer you'll focus better, you'll concentrate better. And that is why when I want to ask. Yeah. That is why when I want to ask about your vision, if you could notice something different, because uh, that's what I was expecting to be, because when we see things, because our eyes is how we see the world and how we see what's around us. When we declutter things physically, energetically, mentally, then we can see much better. Oh, you're yeah, amazing. Thank you. That's Thanks. amazing. Thank you. I you're welcome. That was just the right time, the right timing, and that's what it was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh, yeah. and um, definitely we'll have to do another interview when we can yeah. hear your voice because that is. But in the meantime, we need to tell all the listeners out there that. If they want to hear you, they can go on YouTube. They can type X Factor. Sad Yeah, and you can go on Spotify and, also. And yeah, Spotify, yes. <laughs> yes, lots of people use Spotify yes. and listen yes. to it. Even myself, when I want to remind myself of what I've become and what I made, I go there sometimes to listen. So I'm, so and, I'm like, wow, I really did that. <laughs> yeah, you did. And you will probably go and do more, but you can do you know what in the meantime you can say thanks to universe i have more time for myself. i have more time for my son exactly. and it's meant to be and, and you'll be back you'll take your power yeah. back and you will be back when yeah. is the right time I, so I thank you for believing that we believe in you i always believe in you so. i know <laughs> Sada, thank you so much for um, being with us today and for sharing your story and sharing the fears and allowing me to put more clarity uh, in your mind so that you can move forward and we can hear your voice again. 
and we wish you all the luck and yes. thank you again for being with us today thank you for your busters <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> see you soon bye